Hi there, my name is Jimmy Bonero and I'm with Notable Solutions. If you're interested in going through an Auto Store 6 installation from the very beginning to the very end, then this video is for you. We'll download software, install a trial license, and prepare the server to the point where we can start building workflows. So to get started, I've already created a folder on my desktop called Auto Store 6, and inside of that I have additional folders to hold Auto Store documentation. Auto Store prerequisites, Auto Store software, and Auto Store updates. On the system we're using in this video, I'm currently logged in using the local administrator account. Whichever account you happen to be logged in as, check and make sure that it is a member of the local administrators group, either explicitly or by inheritance. For hardware requirements, the most current information can be found on our website in our knowledge base, which we have an article on, for the system requirements for Auto Store 6. At least a 2 GHz processor, a minimum of 2 GB of RAM is needed, and we recommend 4 or more, at least 10 GB of hard disk space, a NIC card for communication, and also listed are the supported operating systems. Installation on a domain controller is not supported, which also includes all versions of Windows Small Business Server. With any Windows Server operating system, there are a few checks that can be made. Make sure there are no Active Directory choices available within the administrative tools. You can also check to see that there are no running services with Active Directory as part of its display name. On Windows Server, Active Directory will be listed as a server role in the Server Manager. If you're still not sure, check with the organization's IT person. On this system, I have more than 10 gigabytes of hard disk space available. The processor is faster than 2 gigahertz, and there's more than 2 gigabytes of RAM. A NIC card is also installed. Our final check is the operating system version, and Windows Server 2008 R2 standard is supported. We will need the Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 and 4.0 installed. For version 4, we will see it installed in the Programs folder. Most Windows installations today already have version 4 installed. However, if that's not the case, you can go to Microsoft Updates or go to their website and download their standalone installer, which I have already downloaded, to the Prerequisites folder in case it is needed for future use. For the 3.5 framework, this is a feature on Windows Server 2008 R2. So in the Server Manager and below the Features Summary, 3.5.1 would be listed here. Because it's not listed, we'll click on Add Feature. When we expand the feature, only the .NET Framework 3.5.1 option needs to be enabled. Then we'll click Next, then Install, and then click Close. Prerequisites for AutoStore are now installed. To download the AutoStore software, go to www.nsiautostore.com. Hover over Support and click Downloads. If you have not created an account already, it is very simple to do, so go ahead and create one. And log in with your username and password. Choose the version. In this video, we will be installing AutoStore Workflow 6. Once selected, the AutoStore Workflow 6 Lite installer is available, along with an installation guide and an admin guide. I'll grab both of these guides and save them into my documentation folder. Then, download AutoStore Workflow 6. and save that to the software folder.
looking at the software folder, you'll notice that the file is named autostore workflow 6exe and its size is just over 2 megabytes. This is a light installer and is not the complete package needed to complete the autostore installation. So for the next step, right click on the light installer and select run as administrator. And we are presented with a few options. One is download and install, download only, and this other option here that's grayed out is install from local source. Because we're building an AutoStore Workflow 6 folder to keep and use for future installations, I'll choose the download only option so I can retain a copy. The path shown here is where the download will be saved to. And I want this to be in the same folder as the light installer is. So I click on the ellipsis and I choose the software folder. And with the path updated, click next to start downloading the complete package. Alright, so now that the download is completed, there are two new files added to the software folder. The largest is autostore6.exe, which provides the core installation bits. Autostore Workflow 6.exe is the light installer, and I refer to the zip file as a definition file needed to apply the workflow version of Autostore. With Autostore Express, it has its own light installer and uses the same autostore6.exe file. This way, having different installers for two versions means smaller storage space is needed. To start the installation, right-click on the light installer and run as administrator. With the complete package in the same folder, I will change the path to the software folder because this option here is still grayed out. The install from a local source option is now available. Choose this option and click next. As part of the installation, the pending items listed are additional prerequisites that are included with the installation. Click install. All right, click next. Accept the license agreement. Here we have some installation options. Listed are the AutoStore components grouped together. In a normal installation, the install state for each of these items are left as they are, but you can choose to include or exclude them individually. The choice to include or not are shown by selecting the component. For this video, if you are unsure, then I recommend leaving them as is here. If you're concerned with a component showing up in the AutoStore Process Designer, know that there is a way to hide them, even though they are all installed during this phase. The other option is to determine the target installation directory, most commonly for installation on a separate hard disk partition. To do so, you would click Change. We'll leave everything as the default and click Next and click install all right next finish and AutoStore is now installed now we'll open the AutoStore workflow 6 process designer I'll right click and run as administrator all right so right now we could start building workflows and also obtain software updates. There are a couple of important updates to download. Select software updates in the ribbon. The software manager will evaluate the version of the components that are installed on your AutoStore server and search for any updates that are needed. If an update is already installed, then it will not show up in this list. One important update is AutoStore 6 Service Pack 1. We want to save this update in the Updates folder, so we can select it and click Download Only. Each update is installed separately, so when another update is selected, then clicking OK deselects any other update that is currently selected. 
For now, select Auto Store 6 Service Pack 1. Choose Download Only and we'll save this to the Updates folder. With the download complete, click Finish. If no more updates need to be downloaded, clicking on Close will close out the Software Manager, or clicking on the Updates icon at the top will start the update check process all over again. Because Service Pack 1 has not been installed yet, as the update list builds, you'll see Service Pack 1 still listed as an available update. So until it's installed, it will continue to show up. With more updates available, we'll get one more important update that should be downloaded, and that's the AutoStore 6 Framework Extensions. We'll save that in the Updates folder. I'll click Finish. With those two important updates gathered, I'll click Close. Before installing any updates, close the AutoStore Process Designer. The first update to install will be Service Pack 1. Right click run as administrator, install, click next, accept the license agreement, and install. Service Pack 1 is installed. And next, the AutoStore Framework Extensions. Accept the license agreement. To make this AutoStore server ready, we will need a license. So that's the last thing we'll do. In the Process Designer ribbon, the License Manager is split into two sections. The lower half provides some different options. Generally what I do is I click on the upper half to open the License Manager. When either AutoStore Workflow or AutoStore Express is installed, the licensing is in an expired state so a license needs to be applied. There are three parts. First is to create a request, then obtain the key from the web license portal, and load the keys. When creating a request, save it to a known location. In this example, the desktop. I'll name the file request and save it. That completes the first step. Second, select web license. Just like earlier for the download, if you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. This is where all types of license keys are generated, including those purchased for production. Select evaluation extension to obtain an evaluation license, and then navigate to the request file created in the earlier step. And when I click Submit, I have the ability to download the license right here, and it's also sent to the email address of the account that I'm logged in as. I'll click on Download License, and I'll save this to my desktop as well. The second step is now complete. Third is to load the keys. So when I load keys, I go to the desktop and select what I just downloaded. Now the license on the components inside of AutoStore has been extended. Before it was extended, all of these items were expired. And the status after 
is now evaluation for 30 days. So now we are in evaluation mode. Click OK. And that completes the final step in the licensing process, as well as the AutoStore 6 installation, as the server is now ready. So to quickly recap, check that the account you're logged in as is a member of the local administrator group, and that the server hardware meets the minimum requirements and that it's not a domain controller. Have the .NET framework added to the server, download the Lite installer from our website, download the additional installation files from the Lite installer, and download software updates from the AutoStore Process Designer. Find additional documents and more information from our knowledge base. And e-learning is also available on our website. For those who are new to AutoStore 6 or familiar with previous versions, I hope this video has been informative. And until next time, thanks for watching.